much for tuning in to this episode of Ram Rants. We really appreciate your viewership, and we hope that this can drop some useful, maybe awesome knowledge on you from time to time. And this week, we're hoping to do just that. It's officially October, and that means Halloween is right around the corner. Lucky for us, Fort Collins has a million awesome ways to celebrate this month. But first, we have joining us Fort Collins' own Lyric Cinema Cafe. Michael and Megan, thank you guys so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having Hello. us. Hello. Hi, and we also have Morgan here, who's our Hi. film guru from the Collegian. Morgan, yep. thanks for joining us too. No problem. This should be a fun episode, because who doesn't like talking about scary movies? And the Lyric Cinema has tons of scary movies this month, right? Yeah, we're actually doing um, a whole bunch of them, a month of them. Um, and they're not necessarily like scary movies, but we felt like they're all like movies influenced by Halloween. Okay. So you want me to like just run down the lineup? Yeah, let's hear them. All right, I've got, we're finishing up Let the Right One In. The last showing of that is tomorrow. Okay. Um, then starting on Friday, we're playing Pan's Labyrinth for a week, which is Guillermo del, del Toro's. That's a good one. Uh, great movie from him. We're playing The Ring on Saturday at 11 p.m. I don't know then if I'll we, make that one. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> then we've got um, Stanley Kubrick's The Shining from October 17th through the 23rd. It's the best horror movie. Time. I gotta listen to you. It's I mean, you are the guru. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're playing Paranormal Activity the night of the 18th. When Which we're all, one? Uh, the, the original one. The OG? The, yeah, the OG. All right. All um, right. We're also having an encore presentation of our Bad Movie Night Halloween edition that, that night. Um, and then the last week we're playing The Exorcist, which is great. Followed okay. And that Saturday we're playing um, Night of the Living Dead. I know there's a lot of information to take in. Uh, and then on Halloween night at 9 o'clock, we are playing. Uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which we've never done before, but we're really excited to do it. That's going to be really cool. Wow, you guys got a great lineup. Yeah. How neat. So, what is your position at the Lyric? Mine's manager. Manager, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, mine is manager as well. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> movie guru extraordinaire. Um, yeah, we just, event, I'm. Event planner, mm, I'm taking over event planning and coordinating. That's so, so cool. Yeah. Very nice. So, you get to kind of lead the charge on these types of events. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning from Michael. So, very cool, yeah. very cool. So what is the Lyric and what does it mean to Fort Collins? Well, the Lyric is a, we have two screens. We're an independent movie theater. We serve beer and wine, which is super cool. And we have sandwiches, we're a cafe too, um, boba tea and things like that. We play mostly independent movies, um, foreign films and things like that. But it's not as hoity-toity as you'd expect someplace like that to be. Right. We've got couches in the auditorium, so you can sit on the couch when you're drinking your beer or your mm -hmm. wine. I like um, it. And we do a lot of special events like these like Bad Movie Night, which we do every month. Um, we also do things like um, the 5th of November, we're playing V for Vendetta, um, and stuff like that. We try so to keep fun. it fresh and uh, mix in cool classic movies as well as like the latest kind of indie stuff. Right, so you, I mean, you say indie stuff and that's kind of all over the website too. What does indie movies really mean? Like what is that kind of genre I think it's a good one for Morgan. Yeah, yeah uh, let's hear it. An indie movie means that it's made without the help of a major production studio, like okay. Paramount or Warner Brothers. So like independent yeah. is what it would be short for. Yeah, it just okay. means like they pay for themselves Interesting. pretty much. And what that means is that they get uh, a lot of creative influence All on right. their movies. They can do whatever they want. That's awesome, which makes them so cool. Yeah. Very nice. I'm excited for this month. And you guys also have a really cool event in November. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we're doing, um, it sort of is a takeoff on the podcast, The Moth. Um, it's called Story Swap, is what we're, um, and it's going to be on November 20th um, at 7 p.m. Um, and essentially what it is is people, uh, we're going to have people get together and um, share stories. The, fir the theme of this first one is good times, bad times. So okay. super simple. Um, come prepared with a story of either like an excellent time in your life or a bad time in your life. Or a bad um, time that turned great. Yeah. A great time that turned bad. Mm -hmm. Or even if you don't have a story prepared, still come to like watch other people tell their stories. Mm -hmm. Right. That's really cool. I like that you guys have such a wide variety. And so if, I, if I've never been there before, what can I expect my Lyric Cinema Cafe experience to be like? Well, walking in the front door is automatically, it's like not really like anywhere else that you've ever been. Right. Especially in Fort Collins because the walls are all painted by we get painting parties and have people paint all over them and then oh, the well floors are like mosaic and then yeah yeah you can also expect some tood you know, some <laughs> some <laughs> from the employees a little some bit you know, of tood a little not, positive not, attitude not in a bad way <laughs> yeah, some really good tood yeah some good yeah. tood you know oh my gosh um, that's awesome you know it's a really laid back atmosphere mm -hmm. and we're all like willing to chat about film with you 
and send you into the movie and give you recommendations and things like that. How so. cool. Well, I'm definitely going to have to check it out. But before we dip into break, I, we have some trivia that you brought in. And we, okay. we've got to share this trivia. Morgan, are you ready? Because we're going to just beat. nail you with this trivia. All, All right. right. So first question. Do, 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 do. All right. What brand toilet paper are you supposed to throw during the Rocky Horror Picture Show? This is a tough question. Wow. I know this one. <laughs> All right. You, you want to phone in a uh, lifeline here? I'm going to phone in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> it's Scott brand. All right. I like it. Why do we use Scott brand toilet paper? It's because Brad says, Great Scott. Oh. And that's when you throw the, the Scott brand toilet paper. I like paper. So you're supposed to come prepared? Yeah. You, you have to come prepared. Usually there's like food items and stuff, but we're saying no food items and no open flames because we don't want to clean up that crap. <laughs> right. And we don't want to burn the place down. Makes but, sense. you know, there's toilet paper you're supposed to bring, newspapers, squirt guns, and a bunch of other stuff. You can find it all listed on our website because it's sort of an interactive experience when you go to Rocky Horror. All right, cool. Well, we're yeah. actually, unfortunately, all out of time, but hopefully we'll be back to maybe do some more trivia. We'll see if these awesome events don't get you spooked on the spooky season. I don't know what will, but... There's more October events just right around the corner. Stay tuned to learn how to know better, do better. Mary Wilson will hopefully be here to explain that after the break. You won't want to miss it. The next 30 seconds can save you a lot of money. Just do your laundry in cold and stick to full loads. Auto-sleep your computers. Plug your gadgets in a power strip and switch it off when you're done. Head it out, turn back your thermostat by 10 degrees and drive sensibly. The more energy you save, the more money you save. Find other great tips at energysaver.gov. Hey guys, thank you so much for sticking around the break. So right before we headed to break, we had some Lyric Cinema Cafe trivia, and we're gonna jump right back into that now. So you guys, how hard was that last question? I mean, we talked about the great Scott thing. That was difficult. I like your trivia, I like your yeah. trivia. So we're gonna have to keep rolling with it. All right. Next question. You, I need some theme music. I need some, like, do you want to guys sing a little something for me? Ba, ba, All right, there we go. Ba, ba, da, da. Okay. <laughs> it's trivia. What yeah. Japanese movie is The Ring based on? Oh, you totally know <laughs> this. That was good. That was oh, good. <laughs> oh, nice. Yep. There you go. That was when I told you it would be easy. That, that was, was a good That one. was a softball. <laughs> <laughs> so why, why is it called that? Or why is it based on that? Do you know? Uh, yeah, I just know that a lot of... Uh, Modern horror movies are taken off of kind of classic Japanese horrors, and the guy who directed Ring Gu directed The Ring 2, the really? American one. The American he did, version, okay. Yeah, he didn't direct the first one. Was there a second Ring Gu as well? No. Oh, okay. Very, you're just full of the knowledge. I love that. And that also means ring in Japanese, which we found out today. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> All right. That, that, that was that was the hint. <laughs> that was the hint. If you didn't if you didn't know, I'm like it's it's ring in Japanese. Right. <laughs> this is great. All right. Theme music. Do 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 da da ba da. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> Already. <laughs> what film did Stanley Kubrick make the cast of The Shining watch to put them in the right frame of mind? Oh my God. When filming. Oh, I know it. Um. Do 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 do. you want the hint? Yeah. He was trending on Facebook yesterday because of his popular TV show, The Director. Oh, don't go on Facebook. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see. Are we ready? Are we ready for the answer? Anyone know? Yeah. All right. I'm going to hate myself. Final answer. <laughs> okay. It's David Lynch's, David Lynch's Eraserhead. I knew that. <laughs> That's I, a good I one. I looked that up like two months ago and I forgot about it. That's so cool. Very interesting. What's Eraserhead about? <laughs> I, all I know is that it's about people with weird looking heads. I've heard it's one of like yes. the most crazily edited videos of all time. That yeah. was pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like definitely like super indie and they did it on a super small budget. Like there's mm -hmm. one scene where the main character walks through a door and like the two shots are like something like three years apart. Um, oh wow. Because they had to do it on a super small budget over a mm -hmm. long time. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey, but that's what the indie thing is all about, right? Yep. Small budgets and a lot of creativity. <laughs> there you go. All right. Next question. What did director George Romero use for blood in The Night of the Living Dead? Oh, I remember this. <laughs> well, now you got competition, yeah, Morgan. Wow. <laughs> is it, uh, was it like pig's blood? Ooh, that'd know. be gross. That would George, be definitely the, the, gross. The hint Way tastier than this. Yeah. The hint? the hint is it's from Pennsylvania. From Pennsylvania. Ooh. And it's edible. It's a good hint. It's edible. It's, it's edible. It's edible. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
what is it? I'm just gonna say tomatoes. Nope. Like Ooh, I love else. that would that would have been a really good guess though. But do you want to give it away? Yeah, it's Hershey syrup. Oh, Hershey, well, Pennsylvania. Uh, and uh, that's a good one, but that's interesting because it's brown. But you would think it'd be something. It's black, black and white. It's black and white. Black and white. So, oh, yeah. Okay, well there you go. Well, there you go. Good, good one. Super hard bonus question. Oh my God. Are You're not we gonna ready? get this one. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Meatloaf is one of the stars in Rocky Horror Picture Show. What is his real name? <laughs> do, do, do. I thought he like <laughs> changed his name to Meatloaf. <laughs> there, oh, it's Michael Lee Ade. Ade. No, Michael Putlack. It. <laughs> 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 it was me. That's so funny. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. This was really fun. So before we go, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing for the zombie crawl? Because that's coming up pretty soon too. Yeah, the zombie crawl is on the 25th. It's a Saturday, and it's really cool. If you're new to Fort Collins. Um, you should check it out, and if you're not new, you should check it out anyways. Because it's fun um, and you know, awesome. You people, can eat brains. People buy wristbands, which benefit Turning Point, which is a um, nonprofit here in Fort Collins, and everyone like puts on zombie makeup and does a big crawl, and a ton of old town businesses participate. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a lot of fun. And then after the crawl, which ends at some random time, like 9.34. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, it is. It's some yeah. weird time. Yeah, some weird time. I wonder why that um, is. That's when our screening of... Everyone can like, head over to Lyric then for our two screenings of Night of the Living Dead. There's a 10.30 screening and 11.30 screening on the 25th. And if you have a zombie crawl wristband, you can do it for free. So, oh, I like yeah. that idea. Hey, college students, late night bar crawl, free movie. Bring your chocolate it. syrup. Bring yeah. your chocolate syrup. Mm -hmm. There you go. Will you guys have anything special themed like foods or drinks that night? No. Nothing like that? Just cool movies? No, we have special drinks. I mean, we have special drinks, but not themed drinks. We have like boba tea. Oh, that is fun, though. We Everyone should, loves boba. Never mind. We should serve, like, body parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll put Actual you, blood. I'll put you in of that. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. I don't know about that one. But, so have you guys ever done the zombie crawl before? No. Mm -mm. Oh, it's so fun. You guys have to do it. It's a really good time. So, what are you guys' favorite Halloween movies? Mm. Is, there anything, is there anything particular that you just have to watch every season? That's a really good question. Uh, I do watch Halloween every Halloween with my mom. Okay. Is that the one with the uh, guy with the mask? Yeah, it's Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Okay. Oh, yeah. I love yeah. Rob Zombie movies. Yeah, me too. Um, that, was, that was a joke. <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> See, this is what okay. I mean by I would have been awful at trivia because I know nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> I also have to watch The Thing every Halloween. The, oh, the thing, thing is so too. good. That's definitely something we've discussed about playing next Halloween. Yeah. Did you see um, the new thing? Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah. I thought it was <laughs> I, liked, I liked the original thing just because the gore was so cheesy and yeah. out Did they out use Hershey there. syrup? <sighs> that would have been a lot of Hershey syrup. Isn't there some sort of like splash zone or something in Rocky Horror Picture Show too? Well, you know, everyone like is encouraged to bring um, squirt guns and stuff, so the entire theater is pretty much a splash zone. Oh, okay. So yeah. when it's on film, do you still throw toilet paper up there? Are you still supposed to be like throwing great Scott? Tossing that stuff up there? Yeah, well, I mean, like, you're not, like, throwing it at the projector or anything. <laughs> just, like, pelting each other in the head? Yeah, you just, like, kind of <laughs> throw it at the screen and arches and stuff. And then, like, when it's raining, that's when you squirt the squirt guns in the air How and stuff fun. like that. Well, yeah. it sounds like such a great time, guys. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks, yeah, of course. For having Thanks for having us. us. Yeah. yeah, of course. So hopefully you guys can take uh, the opportunity to go over to Lyric Cinema Cafe. Fort Collins has so many great things to offer. And next week we have a really great surprise for you, too. We'll see you then.